What is up YouTube? Never a dull day in the Hacktivist Mechanic Garage. Today, I gotta get the Mercedes E55 AMG towed back to the place where I got uh, some work done. Uh, a couple days ago, I'm driving the car with my kids in, we get home, we hear a lot of uh, what sounds like gushing water, and my daughter says, hey, something's leaking. I was like, ah, it's wet outside, maybe it's just rain. So I didn't look for anything, which was mistake number one. Drove the car later again, which is probably a bad idea. The next morning, that would be yesterday, I came outside, I backed my car out so I could work out in my garage gym, noticed a ton of oil all over the garage. So I got underneath the car as much as I could to try to figure out where the leak was coming from. Everything in, under the engine looked clean, because if you remember my last video, I uh, did the valve cover gaskets, uh, the oil filter housing, and I had replaced the RMS at this, um, this independent shop here. So I was concerned that maybe I screwed up the valve cover gasket or some of that part of the job, but uh, the engine looked pretty clean and so I couldn't figure this out. So I cleaned up the oil and then I worked out and about 30 minutes later, I looked under the car and I saw more oil coming down. It looked like it was coming directly from the rear main seal. So my guess is it's failed. And then this morning, so I'm like, okay, I gotta get send it back to the independent dealer. I call him, I said, listen, I don't know, you guys fix this. Well, I gotta send it back to you. This morning I come back and look at all this oil that's on the floor. I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, bad this is what i would say is catastrophic now i was going to uh drive the car and drop it off but you know an issue like this where you have oil literally seeping out of the car is not something i want to do so um gonna have a tow truck come pick it up these guys are pretty reputable i don't know what happened with this job i really hope it's just a rear main seal and not something else because um you know they should warranty their work and fix it and hopefully cover the tow tow truck's gonna be here any minute and we're gonna send this thing off and hopefully get it fixed. Car is backed out. Here comes the tow truck. Look at all this oil, guys. Check all this out. Like, that's fresh oil too, because I changed the oil um, when I did the valve cover gaskets and the oil filter housing. So, uh, and I've actually cleaned up the same amount that was under here yesterday. So this is this is after starting the car and just pulling in from the driveway to the garage that's how much oil came out. So I'm not gonna drive this to the shop. There's no way uh, I'm gonna get this on a truck and send it off. All right, so it's later in the afternoon. Um, the car has been at the shop. I did get a call, I got a text first, and I got a FaceTime from Danny up at Fix and & Go. And um, good news, bad news, I think. Um, the good news is the rear main seal did not fail. In fact, he showed me it was completely dry. So um, good job there, that's not the issue. Uh, bad news is that it means there's another issue that's gonna cost me money. So what Danny said was it was a electrical plug that goes in the back of the transmission. Now he didn't say what it's for, I didn't really do much research, but he said that plug is missing an O-ring and the O-ring was what's leaking, which must have been a catastrophic failure by this O-ring because it's literally dumping out. So what me that means is that this is not oil, this is transmission fluid, which does make sense because this is much more redder in color um, than actual oil would have been. So uh, I have not heard back from Danny yet on the prognosis, but essentially it's an O-ring, so I'm thinking I'm in for a tow, I'm in for maybe a little bit of labor, maybe a, an hour or so labor and an O-ring. Hopefully it's not more than a couple hundred bucks. One other thing that is still a little bit wet is from the oil pan. It's the oil, um, oil pressure sensor and it's at the top of the oil pan. And they told me about this last time, but I didn't fix it because I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal, but I may have them do it. It's not dripping, but it is a little bit wet and I'd like to solve that problem. So stay tuned, I'll find out what it's gonna cost to fix this and hopefully we're gonna get it sorted out. Well guys, we had a pretty good result here. I just picked the car up from Fix and Go in Plano, Texas. Shout out Danny, this guy's been great. So here was our issue. So this uh, goes into the back of the transmission and there's an electrical wire that connects through there and it sort of sits like this. Now you'll see that this seal here has obviously failed, it's grommet uh, completely apart and so then the transmission fluid goes through there and comes out the front here and goes everywhere, which is what happened um, with the car. So Danny and these guys uh, identified this pretty quickly and uh, fixed the deal for 65 bucks, which was amazing. He didn't even charge me for labor. They had to take the transmission pan off, 
I think he had to do quite a bit of labor, but shout out to these guys because that is a great result. So anyway, we fixed our, uh, our leaky transmission. We fixed our oil leaks. Uh, let's hope that nothing else starts leaking anytime soon. You know, I told you guys in the last video that I have been considering selling the car, but I'm actually kind of enjoying driving it these days. Um, it's just so much power, it's smooth. It, you know, I, I just, I really like it. And um, so I think I'm gonna keep it, but who knows? Um, we'll see what happens. If anybody's really dying for a W210 E55, you know, definitely let me know. Um, but we're gonna keep driving it and hopefully things stop falling apart. So thanks for watching. See you again next time.